Hmm. Is this gonna stain? Is this gonna mess up my marble countertops? That was me not knowing what to do. My friends! So for me personally, cleaning marble countertops is like second nature to me. I, I can do it in my sleep. I feel pretty confident in my ability to handle whatever situation I'm presented with. But whenever I'm presented with new materials that I'm not familiar with, which might be your case with marble, hesitation can begin to creep in a bit. We start thinking, what if this doesn't work? What if I mess it up? I might not be that good of a house cleaner. You are that good of a house cleaner, and after this video, you're gonna be a marble master, even though right now on the inside, I hate to, I hate to ask, but, is this the right cleaner to use? But on the outside, you're like, yo, Tommy, I can clean with confidence, even though right now I'm a little scared, I'm a little bunny rabbit. My friends, you're not a bunny rabbit, you're a cleaner. And after this video, I'm gonna help you unlock it. So out of the big three, which is quartz, marble, and granite, Marble, by far, is the most high maintenance, which means it's an absolute must that you keep it sealed, otherwise it will stain in a heartbeat. I'm going to give you two methods to clean them, and then I'm going to talk about how to keep them sealed, and lastly I'm going to finish off with what to avoid, so that your work is not in vain. So cleaning marble countertops is actually very simple. It's child's play. All you do is grab a damp microfiber cloth, apply some Dawn dish soap to it, or any dish soap that you have will work, and then wipe the countertops off. And then of course rinse your cloth out and then go back and rinse away any soapy residue from the surface of the marble countertops. And this will remove any grease and grime that you encounter. If you find spraying your countertops is easier for you, then just go to the store, pick you up an empty spray bottle, kind of like this, fill it up with water, add you a few squirts of dish soap to it, and then just, you know, spray your countertops and then wipe them off with that microfiber cloth. And that is how to clean them, method number one. Method number two is for those of you who like your countertops nice and shiny. Now if you don't care if they're shiny, stick with method number one. But if shiny is your style, this right here is what you want to use. Stuff is called Shine Ease. It's specifically formulated, specifically designed for natural stone countertops, so it will also work on quartz and granite. This isn't a sponsored video, I've just used this stuff personally. This is my bottle, and I know this stuff works, and it works like a heavyweight champion. All you do is spray the marble countertops down with the shine ease and then wipe away the cleaner with your microfiber cloth. If you want those countertops to pop a little bit more, then just apply a little bit more pressure with that microfiber cloth. Kind of scrub like you're buffing out the countertop. Simple. Okay, so now let's talk about how to keep these things sealed. You want to keep them sealed. You got to keep them sealed. Otherwise, they're going to stain. So, it's best just to use a spray-on sealer every 60 days or so. The company that makes the Shine Ease also makes a product to seal them with to work in conjunction called Seal Ease. So you got your Shine Ease and you got your Seal Ease. And when their powers combine, they make Captain Planet. What you're doing when you use the Seal Ease is you're making your countertops stain resistant. Not stain proof though. Stain proof means they won't stain no matter what happens. Stain resistant means that they're going to resist the stains long enough for you to clean it up. But if you leave like some red wine or some acidic substance sit on those countertops for a week, you can bet your bottom dollar you're going to get a stain. To use this stuff, obviously you want to clean the countertops first. Then simply spray the seal ease on the countertop, grab you a microfiber cloth, and just gently wipe it evenly all over the marble. After you do that, let the sealer sit for five minutes on that stone so it can penetrate it, and then come back and just wipe off any excess that's on the top. Now after you've wiped away the excess, give that sealer about an hour to dry on those marble countertops and then they'll be ready to go. The reason these two products work so well together is because they're made from the same company, they're designed to work together. So you're guaranteed your shinies is not gonna break down your protective layer of sealies that you've applied to your countertops. Real quick, things you need to avoid. You wanna avoid anything acidic, okay? Acid, natural stone, they hate each other. So avoid using vinegar to clean them, avoid using lemon juice, don't use that stuff. If you spill sodas, if you spill coffee, Best practice, 
clean that stuff up immediately. Otherwise, it will leave dull spots. Also, avoid harsh chemicals, bleach, ammonia, any of those store-bought cleaning products you buy on the shelf at Walmart. Stay away from them. They're no-nos. Also, you want to avoid abrasive things. Like, don't use steel wool. Don't use sponges that have the, the really scratchy side of the sponge. Don't use that to wipe the countertops. Don't use your countertops as a workbench. Don't be hammering nails and cutting wood in half. Bottom line, stick to the methods I mentioned in this video and you'll be golden. So that is it, my friends. That is how to clean your marble countertops. Thanks so much for checking out the video. If you liked it and you found it helpful, hey, give it a big claim of confidence. Thumbs up. Really helps us out. Subscribe to the channel for more great content. Until next time, my friends, implement the steps I've outlined in this video with your marble countertops, and you will be well on your way to becoming the domesticated cleaning savage that I know you are. A 90 minute job just turned into an hour. Gallons of it everywhere in the hardware stores. Walk through the doors, and it could be yours.